This video is going to walk you through the course request process for all incoming 8th grade students. The main purpose of this video is to make sure that you understand the course choices that you have as an 8th grade student, as well as a quick overview of how to pick those courses. First, some reminders. Uh, most importantly, these are requests. We'll try our best to make sure that we can meet all of your requests, but just sometimes it's not quite possible. Make sure you talk to your parents. Uh, there are some really important family choices that need to be made here, and we want to make sure that you include your parents in the conversation. Pay attention to the dates. Uh, all course requests need to be completed by May 9th. Um, and please note that these are not done on a first-come, first-served basis. There's no need to rush out and do it right away. Take your time, think about the choices, talk to your parents. And finally, if you're 100% sure that you're leaving, there's no need to go through this process. So let's start by looking at the core classes. Just like in 6th and 7th grade, they have, there are five core classes. English Language Arts, Science, PE Health, Math, and Social Studies. One of the big differences in 8th grade is that you'll have a choice of three different Social Studies courses. Now, this is just a brief information about them. There's a lot of additional information uh, in the email uh, that was sent to you that, in that includes this information. Um, the first thing about them all is that all three of the courses are amazing courses. They all follow the same, uh, the same standards, they all follow the same uh, big units of study, and, and they all have a focus on inquiry and, and really diving in, into history. Um, what's different about them is that Social Studies with Dual Language Immersion is a course that really allows you to develop some academic language as a uh, Spanish speaker. Um, so in order to qualify for this course, you need to be currently at an intermediate, mid, or I3 level or above in grade 7 Spanish. And if this is you, we will have sent you uh, an email uh, with specific information about this course. Um, and Social Studies with National History Day uh, really gives you a chance to dive really deeply into a historical inquiry connected to a particular theme. Um, and the National History Day organization chooses that theme every year. And if this is something that you think might be of interest to you, please make sure you do look through the NHD material that was sent out uh, as part of this email. Now, one of the really cool changes as well in eighth grade is taking a look at electives. Um, we did make some significant changes from seventh grade uh, to, to eighth grade for this year. Um, and so the choices are, are different. And so please make sure you really pay attention to this. Um, first of all, uh, there are going to be three main ways that students can build electives this year. Um, the first one is that students can take a, a full year language plus a full year music elective plus two semester electives. Uh, the second option is to take a full year language plus two music electives. And the third choice is to take a full year language plus four semester electives. And we'll talk about more about that in just a moment. So first of all, what's the same? Um, world languages. All students in grade 8 are required to take a world language unless you have an official school-based exemption such as someone who's taking learning support. Um, just like in 6th and 7th grade, we do have three languages that you can choose from, French, Spanish, and Chinese, and these meet every day for the full year, and you will have been recommended for a language level from your current teacher. Now, one of the things that is different is we do have a number of full year music electives, but uh, whereas in seventh grade they met every day, in eighth grade they're gonna meet every other day. And again, this is to give you some more options and some more choices in how you build your elective program. Um, so you can actually pick up to two of these. So you can you could take band and strings or strings and choir, um, or you could pick one of these if you wanted as well. So we do have beginning band in grade eight. So if you have yet to pick up a band instrument and would like to do so, now you have a, a chance to do that. Um, plus band eight for people who are continuing in band. Um, we have strings, uh, intermediate and advanced in grade eight for people who are currently playing a strings instrument and, uh, and we have choir as well. Uh, one of the other changes is with our semester electives. Um, and just like we had semester electives in seventh grade, uh, the difference this year is that they are gonna meet every other day in grade eight. And again, this is to give you more options and more choice in how you build your elective program. And so, um, just like in seventh grade, we have art, coding, dance, drama, strategic learning, and tech, but we do have three new courses. We have contemporary music, which gives you a chance to explore music and play instruments that you wouldn't normally get to play in part of a, a band or a strings program. Um, and then we have digital design and digital film, which allow you to dive in deeper into aspects of digital media. Digital design focusing more on the photography and graphic design components, 
and digital film focusing more on the sound design and filmmaking components. Again, here's, uh, here are the three different ways that you can build out your electives in grade eight. So we'll just do a real quick overview of how you choose your courses. And you're gonna do this in PowerSchool if you are a returning student, um, or you actually use a Google form if you are a new student. But the process is basically the same. When you log into PowerSchool, you'll click on the class registration icon on the left and it will take you to this screen. So you'll see um, a number of different screens that each walk through different, different parts of the registration process or the request process. Um, so the first one is your core classes, ELA, Science, and PE. They're already selected for you because there's all, so all students take those courses. Your first choice will be math, and you'll choose Math 8 or Math 8 Plus. Um, and again, if you're a returning student, please refer to the Middle School Math Readiness Report, which will give you some instructions and, and give you some tips on, on how to make an informed family choice uh, regarding the math level that's most appropriate for you for next year. Uh, your next choice will be, will be Social Studies. And again, there are three choices here. All students can select Social Studies 8, and all students can select Social Studies 8 and HD. Um, Social Studies 8 DLI will only be available for you to select if you are a high enough Spanish level. Um, and if you think you're a high enough Spanish level but that choice isn't available for you, please reach out and we'll, uh, we'll look into it for you. Uh, these are those year-long electives. Um, this is World Language. Again, these are, these are every day. Um, for the full year, and you can see a number of elective choices there. Uh, the novice courses will, of course, be available to you, and you will have been recommended for a Chinese or a Spanish or a French level if you're a returning student, and we recommend that you continue with the same language that you, uh, you were taking in seventh grade. So these are those every other day full year music classes. Um, there'll actually be two selections for this because you can choose two of these. Um, and actually, if you really wanted to, you could choose the same one twice. Um, but you'll, you'll be able to select um, from the choices that are available here on both these screens. And finally, the semester electives. And again, different this year for, for grade eight is that these will be running for every other day. And so depending on the uh, selections you've made previously, you'll be prompted to pick either uh, zero of these, two of these, or four of these. And just like the music classes, we know that there are some of you who have, you know, really you know, spent a lot of time in a particular elective and you've really grown to love it. If you want to take one of these twice, um, please let us know. Reach out to your counselor to put in that request because um, we can't set up the screen to do that. Um, and we'll, we'll try our best to make that happen for you. So again, just coming back to those important reminders, please keep in mind that these are requests. As I said before, we'll try our best to make, you know, make sure we can get you all of them, but sometimes it's just not possible. Um, talk to your parents, pay attention to the dates. Don't worry about getting this done right away. It's not first come, first serve. And if you're 100% sure you're leaving, there's no need to do this. Hopefully you found this helpful. Um, if you do need some additional guidance, please make sure you check out our middle school program guide. Um, as well as the uh, more detailed walkthrough of using PowerSchool. Thanks a lot and look forward to seeing you in grade eight.